Hello and welcome back to more Dark Cloud Memo Dungeon Entry episode 18. Well, let's finally defeat the second boss. Or so I really hope so. Uh, if you didn't see this video up the last episode, we got to the Angel Shooter. Which has heal as part of it. But not only that, it also has four slots for upgrades. Now, if we do take some damage, we could. Oh, also, our inventory is kind of messed up. I can see a pool, like, right over there. We don't need... We don't need to drink this water. We'll be okay. Hey, more fish bait. That's good for money. Okay, also, we have over 1,200 monies now. So that's cool. What kind of door is this? Hammer door! So you can totally get it before the game tells you what you're supposed to do there. Oh, hey! Lonely old chest. Is there another mimic? No! It has soap! I'm at soap! <clears throat> and let's have ourselves a nice little drink out of this stagnant pond. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine, right? We can carry as much as two more items. Wow. And like, yeah, that's it. Okay, two more items in our regular inventory. Force the trap! Yeah, force it open. It's a poison trap chest. Oh my gosh, another magical hammer. If we get the big box hammer, I'm gonna really want to have to build that up, and that's gonna be quite the um, nonsense. Okay. Drop some money. What is that? Okay, thought there was a big chest there, so I was confused and a little bit concerned. We do not need any more key items. We can go back, pick that up, open up a couple chests, kill off a couple of monsters. We also we are also out of um, weapon attachments, other than a couple of speed plus ones. Our main goal for this episode is to grab another sun drop, sun dew. And make it to the boss. And if we can't do that, we're going to make it to the boss again anyway. And then off camera, basically go back and do everything that I've already done here. Because I don't want to have to keep going through this again and again and again and again and again. Until eventually I can pull a sun drop from a chest. We could run on to the next floor, but there's still one more chest here. I'm gonna give it the old college uh, hope that it has exactly what we need in it. Oh, shoot, trying to pick that up. Because now it's just basically a waste of inventory slot until we can get to the next floor. Because we can't throw it away, even though we already know that we don't need it. It'll be gone by the time we get to the next floor. Hey, repair powder. Flee, flee. You're gonna drop a key. It has to. We've only found two of them, and that's the last enemy. It had to. It had to drop a key. All right. Uh, this is your floor. Kill monsters fast, okay, buddy? There's also a King Mimic on this floor, isn't there?
Now you don't. Now you don't. No, you don't. Die. Oh my gosh. One of these is probably the king mimic of this floor. I don't want to risk it and let it hit me. No you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Come on, you got this. You start to expel some gases or whatever and I'll just cut you right back down two pieces. King Mimic, yeah. Which I think carries a key, but not necessarily the key. Let's just go like this. Okay, what do we want? Okay, yeah, Thobbing Chair works super well. On uh, big tough monsters, just hold them in place for a little bit and kill them. Yeah, it does that little weird dance-like thing, and I can just go, yep, and get rid of it. Sundew. Mighty healing. Sundew. Oh, and of course a mustache key. I'm going to take a bit of the red, because I feel like that might be required right here now. It's a shame that you can't just res character, a character who's like, you know, near dead. Okay, you. Take this. Drag. I'm just gonna run up here, see if there's a pool. There is no pool. Take one of these little waters. Maybe that's why I'm always thirsty. I always drink out of water balls that look like that. Holy. That's actually useful. Not as useful as the sun drop will be, but still. Try to go for some big attack, I noticed. Sun drop. Sundew? Might be a sundew. Yeah, no, we already have the entire map. One of these four monsters holds the key. Well, two of them hold keys. One of them holds the proper key. I was expecting it to jump towards me, so I was prepared for that. There we go. Just time it, like, just right. So this has to drop a key. Here's some bread. Okay. Okay, cool. Last monster. We're right to ignore it. We don't need it. 
Let's continue running around with our cute little cat girl. <gasps> and everything's gonna continue to be fine. You get thirsty quicker. That's all it is. Okay, at least one of them dropped a thing, right? I wonder, is the exit always, like, southern facing? It's like, you know, the green dot always, like, towards the, like, you know, facing north and the exit always facing south. Is that just something that I'd, like, never really made a note of my entire time playing this game? Is that something I'm only discovering now after years of playing this? said no. Well, we got what we need for that. Let's put this holy on instead of that. Because I want to wait for a times two slot to put that gemstone on. Let's upgrade this to an angel shooter plus one. This is going to be an angel shooter plus a whole heckin' lot by the time we're done with it. For the record. Okay, don't need the stone, but again, still want to explore because we still need that little sundew. Power powder, that's okay. That's good. That's cool. Wrong plant-based thing. Now we can just run on away. Not quite what we need. Again, I'm literally going to do a full speed up episode after this. Uh, if we don't get, if we don't get what we need, I'm doing a full speed up episode just to run back through this again. Yeah, you know, just another two hours to just get to the boss fight. All taken up the span of about half of an episode. That could probably only take about half an hour to get there now, so. Yeah, the one time where we really, really want to get, um. We realize that we need to get a sun drop, sundew. I'm not giving up my chance to grind with the werewolves. Hello, werewolf. At least this boss fight that's uh, coming up is probably going to be easy, right? As long as I can keep just attacking it with slingshot ammo. First time in when we got like three sun drops on the first like two floors or something like that. 
I was all like, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, where did those times go? But at least we know that that chest up there is an item. It is a regular old pocket item. Over 200 damage. Map. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling that the exit was on. Let's play it over here. Okay, doesn't want that, but doesn't want the shiny stone. No, so we do have to work on getting the, uh, getting the other thing that needs, getting the berry. However, is just some cheese. That is it. Like, if you got to this floor and, you know, the hammer character was just, like, incapacitated, what would you even, like, do? You would just be all like, okay, well, I'm stuck. If you have no revival powder, I guess you'd have to, like, do an escape in, uh, you know, in normal play, you just have to go, it's like, all right, escape. Really, though, in casual play, you should always bring, like, and escape powder into the dungeons. Just to be on the safe side. Bonk. Okay, only three extra feathers. Only, what, two more floors in which I can gather up supplies? If I don't find what I'm looking for... Well, you know, you know what comes next. Gosh, why am I so tired? You know, Boxes. Do I just like use a repair powder now? Do I toss one of these bottles? No, wait. I have like three soap. I'll toss one of them. No, no, no. Toss a water bottle. We're not doing grinding stuff soon, so. Okay, time to toss a soap. No, you don't. Yep, more empty uh, upgrades. Oh, right. Uh, sure, toss this up. Go into one of the healing pools and use a soap, and that's how you get the clean status, right? That's a thing, isn't it?
And the real question, is this the just dead end path? Yeah, this is just the dead end path. It's like, which one is just the short dead end path that doesn't lead to much of anywhere? And which is the one that actually matters? Wait, did I pick up this? No. I didn't like auto pick up the stone like that. All right, let's go. Funds are 1352. Max whip decreased. Of course it did. And of course you want the very first item. Right. No more chests. No more point in staying on this floor. Gosh! I think this is like the last floor too, so if none of these are sun drop, then we're spending the rest of the episode in a speed up just to redo all of this over again, where we do get the extra sun drop, sun do. Okay. Four chances. Let's run down here first. And that's a big chest, so that can't have the sun do either. I think I'll do it where I, I'll try to grab the sun. Yeah, I'll keep restarting until I can get the sun drop before I fight, before I uh, grind against the werewolves on floor 10. And then if I don't get it, restart until I do. Um, nope, no more. And who knows, maybe on the werewolf. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god, oh my god, yes! Yes! Yes. I, oh my, I celebrated so hard I disconnected my headphones. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that apple. Yes, 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 yes. What is it? Oh, it plugs in. I have my headphones on backwards. I was so ready. I was expecting that I was going to just have to go back to... Watch me get like a second sun drop right here. Okay, no, but that would have been hilarious.
Oh my gosh, yes! I was- I had totally resigned myself to having to do this dungeon multiple extra times. But instead, how about I don't do that and I just get the thing I need instead? Yes! And we can go down here, get some water, get the last of the door keys, because it's right here anyway. Oh, wait, uh, we have to toss something, don't we? Toss this? No. Toss this cheap water bottle. I had totally resigned myself. I was like, yep, I'm, this is what I'm going to be doing today. Constantly trying to get through this one floor of this one, uh, just get through this one run of this one dungeon over and over and over again. And that's what I'm going to do. That's just going to be my day. There are literally two chests left to go. And I got a sun drop. Oh, look, there's still a monster left. Good thing that thing didn't have the key. <laughs> Leave dungeon temporarily. Gonk. Oh my god. Of course, you have to be the one to plant it for reasons. So what's curious is that you can use the option just escape here as if there's no monsters in the area. But there is a monster in the area. There's the boss monster in this area. <sighs> da 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 da. Yay! Oh, can't fall off. <gasps> dodge, kid, dodge. Let it block off the entrance. Forest Keeper Master Uton. Oh, he's behaving strangely, probably under the spell of the Dark Genie. You'll have to fight him. This is a regular fight, right? Not a duel? Yeah. You almost killed me right there. Where's all my cheese? I have like a hundred cheese, right? Okay, y'all, I think I still unlocked him. Wait a second, wait a second. Um... What, is, what element is Master Uton uh, weak to? We can do this. Da, 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 da. Okay. I mean, this, I mean, Holy is stealing like 11, so let's go in and see how much this deals. Okay, a bit weak to wind. Not thunder. Not necessarily ice. 
So wind still seems like the best option. Fire side, but yeah, it seems like. But what about none? Nope, definitely wind. Oh, maybe. No, no, wind is like a little bit above. I wonder if you're like guaranteed to get, uh, okay. I can also find a human, so uh, you should probably watch yourself or something. I'm also fond of humans, hmm? I think I have an answer to that. Then, what if I could do in Brown Boo Village? It's been so long since I've last been in here. Human has come to the village. Beware of nights when stars fall, plan. Nope, just a nice little village. I don't know if there are any uh, chests in here. Hold on, real quick. As far as some random person on the internet is aware, there is nothing. So, they made this whole little village, but it's like, no real reason to go and do anything?
Crystal, you say? Hey, it's the tower from the opening. I've seen this play enough. I've had to reset the game enough times to uh, recognize this. Yeah, head to Queens and I'll go do, do go do some uh, general city stuff. I feel tremendous power. This must be the dark genie that the guy is talking about. Oh my gosh! Yes. Hey, I need your help to try to, you know, reseal this thing. Never seal that monster with not the ability we have now. Fear's right. Magic is indeed the secret power of the moon people. Ba ba ba. Living this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. We don't have the power to seal the dark genie anymore. I mean, it's not impossible. Even though none of us can use magic, but if you go to the moon, they should be able to. Like going to the moon is so, what, 53 years ago? Probably more than that, right? No, I think 53. Um, it's been a while anyway. I'll mark queens on your map so you can teleport there. Now we can talk to the same people who are scared of us. And they're still scared of us. I wonder why you. So let's go to queens. Yeah, yes. Once again, wait for it. Wait for it. A city that was destroyed by the yeah, by the the dark genie. So this place has four separate areas, but unlike, oh no, three separate areas. I thought it was four. I thought it was going to be four. But unlike uh, Balance Valley from... But unlike Balance Valley from uh, the sequel, you don't have to worry about, you know, balancing everything here to make the future good. Heck, this game doesn't even have a future to worry about. However, this place does still have a person left. Only the things inside the village were destroyed. Say, like, I'm Sashin. So you are Sashin. Oh, 
brought that beast back to life. Foolish this must be from the east. Okay, no need to be racist. So dangerous a place that... Okay, okay. I have a huge safe at the bottom of the sea. But you're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? It's about a hundred years ago, the queen reigning over the queen's passed away, and some of the townspeople who adored the queen sunk her favorite ship along with her. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens survived as a merchant town, a late Queen sunken ship started to serve as the undersea treasury. Sounds a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best of any situation. What? Oh, wait. How are you going to get there? Wait, you see the submarine behind me? I like to imagine that that wasn't like specifically his submarine before, but now that everyone else is gone, he's like, I'm claiming this now. It only carries one person. That seems bad. Okay, we are not going to the dungeon immediately, of course. Let's save the game. Let's go right back up to the top of the list. Replace this. As you can see, we've been in the dungeon seven times and we're now at Queen's. No miracle chest in here yet, huh? Can I shop here? Yes. Okay, you sell basic stuff. Wow, so basic. So dull. Much stuff. Okay, okay. I say sell the extra soaps. Do I want to just sell, yeah, sell the extra holy waters because we have a bunch of mighty healings that we can use. Sell one antidote potion. Sell these rocks, sell this wind gem, sell at least one of those cherries. I guess keep the banana. Keep the poison apples. Sell the speed ups. Keep the sand powders and revival powders. Sell this key because we don't need it now. Keep the giant water bottles. I'm very tempted to say sell a stamina drink because we still have a ton of mighty healings. We'll see about that. Keep the cheese. Keep the bomb. Okay, okay. It is the afternoon, not yet the evening. This is so close to leveling up. Okay, okay. I would love to buy a bunch of extra magic power. I can't. Because, uh, yeah, we definitely need a lot more magic, but that's not really a thing we can get our hands on so easily. Most we could do is this. 
Okay. Oh yeah, we don't have any of the Georama parts. Let's go to another room. Village! Yes. Okay, okay. Where are the shops? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that I want to do uh, between episodes. For example... <laughs> if you know what I'm doing, you know what I'm doing. Um, Wait a second, I need to check and see exactly how much this needs for all of its levels for everything. So it needs a bunch of attack and magic that it should get from leveling up, and I wish I could give it extra magic, but that's not so easy. It need. Okay, wait a second. Instead of doing this now, I'll do the fishing now. Okay, yeah, I already bought three attack crystals. I'm sure I'm going to use all of them in fast order, but first... Let's just buy a bunch more gems, you know? Okay. I definitely want extra Drans Feathers. Tossing one water. I do still want extra bread. Tossing one of those in. Tossing one of those in. So it's that, and that, and this. And... I'm going to try to capture four of those fish. You have to be outside to do the uh, teleporting thing. Otherwise, it just says, go outside. I'm going to try to capture four of those fish. It's probably going to take a little while, but that's just how it is. Fish. I'm going to save right here. Replace that. Seven times in the dungeon. Yeah, fishing log. I caught a Mon Guardian. That's it. Change bait, poison apple. So I'm just going to be doing this for a little while. Um, there's only one fish that will come after this. So, if a fish comes after this, I know what I'm getting my hands on. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, buy some gemstones, figure out what I need, do all of that stuff. And I could do it as a speed up, or I could also just do it off camera, flat out. But yeah, just trust me, I'm going to probably be uh, fishing for quite a while to catch, try to catch four of these fish. If one isn't spawned in immediately... I'm going to have to just stop fishing and restart again. Are you going to... Quit fishing. Because this should reset the fish. Remember, like I said, just keep working on this. That is a big juicy fish right there. Is completely uninterested in what I am operating. Now there are a couple fish over here. Again, big juicy fish. 
Now, does quitting and restarting fishing actually reset the fish? So if you look now, there's no fish in the water. You have to start, like, the fishing mini session, whatever, and then it will spawn in fish. And since it spawns in fish, they could be any kinds of fish. Oh, are you going to be interested? No. Are you interested? No. You definitely saw the poison apple. So like I said, this is going to take quite a while, but hey, oh my gosh, hey, we beat the, uh, we beat the Wise Owl Forest. We are never going back into there now. We've beat it. We're done. We're never going back. And next time, we'll start our dungeon delving expedition in Queens. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far, because I know... There was quite the tense experience, like seriously, like gosh. But I'm going to go and get a whole bunch of gems to start upgrading my new slingshot. So that's bound to be fun, right? Sure, whatever I say.